This is correct only lecture number 11. We will be proceeding it now and we'll be starting yellow for today. Again, the same thing. We have combined the both specification old and the new one uh, in one lecture. So we will be doing it accordingly. Review the customer relationship management in an organization. So you are already familiar with that what CRM is. Now we will be doing it with a specific organization. For your, um, what do we call it? For the assignment purposes, I'll have to see the social evidence, whether they have allowed us only to stick to the SME or not, because it is quite difficult to go with the CRM, specifically the small organization. So I will guide you on that too. Review means revisit and analyze the, in detail, the position and the, the positive and the negative aspects. So for this, I chose Chesco and Alvi, two examples. We will be doing it side by side. First the Chesco, then the Alvi. You can choose any organization. I am going with these two. The points which I'm using in the lecture, they are all from the indicative content. The first one is the systems in use. For that, what they, this organization they're doing is Club Card Loyalty Program. What it is, Tesco uses its Club Card Loyalty Program to gather data on the consumer purchases, preferences, and behaviors. That is, they have a community, they have a group, they have a card specifically through which they see that what sort of consumers and type of people are purchasing the referral or same products again and again, what are their preferences, organic product or the simple uh, packaged food, then prep behaviors. Uh, at what time they are buying food? At the closing time, opening or at the midday? The system helps just for personalized offers and rewards, enhancing the consumer satisfaction and loyalty. Serum software. Tesco utilizes advanced serum software to manage consumer interaction, track the sales, and streamline the communication. That is what they're using. Like this CRM system is helping them in what? In managing the interaction of the consumers, of the human beings, with the people who are working at the Tesco, even the suppliers too. Then the tracking of the sales. How many products are at the warehouse? How many products are at the store? Each and everything. Then streamlining the communication. Everything is according to, uh, to the... Um, different departments in the Tesco, keeping in mind that it is not in one country, not in one state, city, not in one region. It is in different range. So we have to copulate all the communication accordingly. This system integrates data from the various touch points to provide a unified view of consumer attributes. That is what they want to buy, what they are actually buying. Current role of the staff, staff members, Consumer service representatives. Staff at the Tesco are trained to handle the consumer queries and complaints efficiently. They use the CRM system to assess the consumer information and provide tailored solutions. That is, if you're not provide, getting up with a product, its ingredients, or anything which you find a little bit fringed up, what you can do is you can ask the people, the management who is working there, any staff member, and they are going to help you out. Store managers. Store managers play a crucial role in implementing CRM strategies at the store level, ensuring that the consumer service policies are adhered to and that staff are adequately trained. Store managers, that is, now what product or which product is going to be ending soon or we have to buckle up with the suppliers. Everything is managed by the store managers, the people who are working there. If anything is going out of stock, they're going to inform the management and the designated department. Too. IT and data analyst. These staff members analyze consumers' data to identify trends and insights that inform marketing strategies and improve the consumer engagement. Trends, that is what the competitors are doing, what kind of product is being liked through the consumers, uh, the habit or the purchasing habits, maybe few consumers are buying online, few are coming into the store physically. So everything is going to be accordingly, the advertisement, the marketing strategies, the branding, and how we are going to interact with the consumers as well. We will be training the staff accordingly and making the strategies 
service policies in use. The first point for this is customer service promise. Tesco has a comprehensive customer service policy that guarantees the satisfaction with the products and services. This includes a clear return policy and commitment to addressing consumer complaint promptly. That's true. If you have by mistakenly or by chance you bought a wrong product or you purchase something which is not for you, you can definitely exchange it. Or if you think it's not up to the mark, the quality is in return, then again, you can claim it and they're going to return you the money or the points. Or they can replace the product too. Feedback mechanism, Tesco encourages consumers to provide feedback through various channels, including online surveys, social media, and in-store comment card. That is, you can give the ratings even online through the surveys, through the forms as well. Thus, you can do it in the store as well. It's all up to you, your convenience. Quality benchmark used. For this, we're using certain techniques. The first one is the net promoter score. That is the NPS. Tesco uses the NPS to measure the consumer loyalty and satisfaction. This metric helps identify promoters, passives, and detractors. The promoters are those who people who are always happy with the purchase of a product or with a specific organization that is giving 10 on 10 or 9 on 10. Passives are the one who are the neutral one. 7 on 10 on a scale of 7 on 10, 6 on 10, maybe 6.5. Not more than that. And detractors, they're not the happy one. They have the problems all the time. So that is why they're using the NPS method. In this way, they help us as an organization, help themselves to be competitive. Consumer Satisfaction Index, the second one is CSI. Tesco employs CSI to track overall consumer satisfaction and benchmark performance against competitors. That is why they are so regal. Uh, maybe because of their fresh baked cookies and their maple pie, maybe because of their uh, fresh breads. There are so many reasons as compared to the different brands like Morrison's, Aldi, and uh, Asta. Quality of customer service. Personalized experience. By leveraging the serum data, the Tesco offers personalized promotions and recommendations, enhancing the shopping experience for the consumer status, as a person, you and me, we are going there, we are frequently buying products. They are going to make our experience more personalized. Maybe they are going to design a designate few people for us, as in, oh, you're back, we, can, we have few products, we're having offerings, like that. Efficient service, Tesco focuses on reducing wait times at the checkout and ensuring that the staff are knowledgeable and helpful, contributing to a positive customer experience. Why? Uh, we can go and do the billing of the products which we have purchased, whether the grocery or the fresh or the organic one, for the manual as well, that is manually, and by ourselves as well, we can check out. So it's all up to us. If you're not... Uh, you man. Okay. Yes. Oh, Ma'am, I didn't understand this. They said here they're focusing on reducing wait times to like check out. Is it like uh, like after buying the product or like it's um, wait like, times? Is, is it about the customer set? How they are basically reducing the wait times now at the Tesco or even the other brands as well. What they're having, you can check out yourself as well. They're having machines. You only have to just uh, reach the barcode, scan it, and then pay through online means. You people who are not uh, up to the, you can say, with the technology, they're not having the bank cards, mostly the tourists. What they do is, they can go to the simple counters. They can do the bill manually. That is the basically reducing wait times because there is no means that we are going to wait the make wait the people the consumers who are frequently coming in the test. Fair now? Yes, I'm not clear. Okay. Available data on the customer satisfaction, customer surveys. Tesco regularly conducts surveys to gather feedback on various aspects of the shopping experience, including product quality, store cleanliness, and staff helpfulness. Like they open up at 6 a.m. in the morning, and by 5 a.m. in the morning, they are actually working in the um, 
you can say the store, they are cleaning it, deep cleaning it, and refilling the products, the counters, which are empty. So they are working quite efficiently for us, for the consumers, for making their experience smooth. Social media sentiment analysis. Tesco monitors the social media to gauge the consumer sentiment and respond to the feedback in real time. That is, if you're not convenient, it's not convenient for you to go into the store and give your reviews or buy the products. We can do that online as well. We can rate them too. They are providing the service to us as well for our convenience. Okay, we are done with the comparison of uh, first organization that was Tesco. Now, Aldi. Again, the points are going to be same, but the sub points are going to be different. Systems and use. What it means is simplicity and efficiency. Aldi focuses on simplicity in its CRM approach using the streamlined systems that prioritize efficiency and the cost savings. So they are working on two uh, main ailments that is efficiency and cost savings through the CRM approach. Now you can easily compare that with the Tesco as well. Their approach was different. Consumer feedback platforms. Aldi uses online feedback platforms and in-store kiosks to collect the consumer opinions and preferences. To satisfy the consumers, they are using both means, the physical one and the online both, for the collection of survey. Current role of staff. Store associates. At Aldi, store associates are trained to perform multiple roles, including cashiering, stocking, consumer service. This multifunctional approach ensures that staff are versatile and responsive to the consumer needs. That is, the people who are working there, they are specifically the associates to store to the staff members. They are providing certain services for our convenience, the way we can make our experience of shopping easy and rememberable. And we want to come back again and again. They basically give offers as well on weekly basis on Thursday and Wednesday, too, which is uh, like a great opportunity for the expats as well. Management. Store managers at the Aldi oversee the CRM implementation, ensuring that the staff adhere to the service policies and that the customer feedback is acted upon promptly. So whatever the strategies, um, steps, strategies, steps, techniques they're using in an organization to satisfy the consumers, the managers, they make sure that they are implementing it as well. The staff members, the other people as well, which is working under one room. Servers, policies in use, again, a point, and now the sub points for it. No frills approach. All the service policy emphasizes efficiency and low cost. We knew it in the start because this was their CRM approach. They want more efficiency and they're working more efficiently as well with the less cost. They're reducing their cost, which means fear of frills, but a focus on quick, friendly service. That is, you're not going to go into the drama and extra expenses. You are only providing best services. That's it. Satisfaction guarantee. Aldi offers a double guarantee on its product, promising a refund and a replacement if the consumers are not satisfied. Same thing goes for the Tesco, but they, what they do is, prefer the exchange of the goods rather than always giving you the money. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. But the Aldi, they always change it for you people. Whatever product it is, even if it's a fresh one or a packaged one. Quality benchmark used. For this, we have consumer satisfaction surveys and mystery shopper programs. Aldi uses surveys to gather consumer feedback on the product quality, store environment, and overall satisfaction. And they through, do this through online means because it is quite convenient. People there are quite, you can say, familiar with the IT technologies. Whenever the tourists go there, they always find it difficult to literally commute with each and every organization there because Mostly, they are accepting the card payment. They are doing everything on the phone, cell phones. Mystery shopper programs. All the employees mystery shoppers to evaluate the quality of the consumer service and ensure the compliance with the company standards. That is, they are specifically going to work on their weaknesses so that they can come up with the strengths and make their policies and customize the satisfy the consumers upon the standards which are set in the organization for them. Quality of customer service. For this, we have efficient checkout. 
Aldi is known for its fast checkout process, which minimizes wait times and enhances the consumer experience. Now, I think it's clear to you, Rosanna, that wait uh, reducing the wait time means that sometimes, even in the Desi stores, we have a long queue and we're making the billing at the specific counters. So that is quite adherent for the consumers who are promptly and regularly coming at the organization. Maybe they're not having huge grocery, what do we call the trolleys? They're only having a small bucket. So with that, they can do the self-checkout by themselves as well. Value for money. By focusing on the low prices and high quality products, that is being efficient. So value for money. By focusing on the low prices and high quality products, Aldi ensures that the consumers perceive value in their shopping experience. That is, already we know that their CRM approach was efficiency with the low cost. Why they're doing this? Because they want to give less prices to the consumer. And that's true as well. The cheapest grocery store with a good quality product is Aldi there. The people, the new international students, whenever they even go there, they always try to buy from Aldi rather than Morrison's or Tesco because it is actually expensive. So that's the value for money. You're gaining the good quality product with the less price. Now we're done with both of the organization. We will be doing a combined comparison and conclusion. Both Tesco and Aldi prioritize the consumer satisfaction, but employ different strategies aligned with their business models. Because their model, their technique of moving on with an organization is different. They're using MPS, the um, Tesco, whereas the Aldi is using the uh, other technique that is efficiency with the low cost. Systems in use. Tesco uses advanced CRM software and a loyalty program. They're using two kinds of things. Uh, total new software with a loyalty program, the card one. Together and analyze consumer data while the Aldi focuses on simplicity and efficiency in its CRM systems. Role of staff. Tesco has specialized roles for consumer service and data analysis, whereas Aldi staff are multifunctional, emphasizing versatility and efficiency. That is, they are present all over the time in the organization as well and outside too. They're they, as in through online means. Service policies. Tesco offers personalized service and robust feedback mechanism, whereas the Aldi no frills approach emphasizes quick service and value for many as well. That is, if the product is stale or there is a problem, you have purchased it accidentally, they're going to return you the money. Quality benchmark. Both companies use consumer satisfaction surveys, but Tesco also employs the NPS and CSI for the detail inside. This is the key difference between both of them. The Tesco is ahead than the Aldi. Quality of consumer service. Tesco focuses on personalization and efficiency, while Aldi ensures fast checkout and perceived value. Um, both are actually using the manual and the self-checkout system, but Tesco is far behind than the Aldi. They're making the process of filling you out quite easy, the Aldi. Consumer satisfaction data. Both companies utilize consumer feedback and social media sentiment analysis to gauge satisfaction and make improvement. Both are working fine for the consumers. The one which have a little bit higher pay, they are going to Tesco. The one which are having a good lifestyle, they are going to the Marisons. And the normal one or the one which are gaining good quality product with the less cost because they want to travel or they have the other means, they always shop from Aldi. And both are satisfying the consumers ultimately. So Tesco and Aldi have a different approaches to the CRM. Both aim to enhance consumer satisfaction and loyalty through effective use of systems, staff rules, and service policies. By understanding and addressing the unique needs of their consumers, both retailers are able to maintain higher levels of consumer satisfaction and competitive advantage. That is being unique in their way. And both are using different approaches to CRM and both are satisfying the consumers in different means as well. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it's clear. So, ma'am, for in that case, if we comparison with um, Tesco and Aldo, both gives the high uh, high levels of customer satisfaction. Yeah, both are fighting yeah. for the both, satisfaction. Yeah, but, uh, but in that, I mean, the difference, if I've seen, like, Aldi is giving a better consumer satisfaction because they're buying good quality with less price, like, 
for each and every one who basically yes. wanted to buy and all this. That's true as well. People basically <laughs> rush to Aldi. There are sales, there are discount offers. Everything is phenomenal. It's quite good. Otherwise, when you will be doing it in your assignment, you will be covering only one organization. I did this just for the sake that if people have an idea when we want to compare it in the end. Okay. Uh, propose improvements to the processes for the customer relationship management. Now, the points for the improvement to the processes, they are mentioned in your, uh, what do we call, indicative content, and I'm using those points. Put forward a plan or suggestion for the consideration by others. That is, what is your opinion through other researchers and by yourself as well. We will be talking about that. <clears throat> New software system. Implementation of advanced CRM software. Upgrading to a more advanced CRM system can significantly enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of managing consumer relationship. That is when you're going to use more advanced up-to-date system. This means we will be uh, having good customer relationship with the consumers. Modern CRM software offers features like automated workflows, uh, advanced analytics, AI-driven insights that can help the businesses better understand consumer needs and preferences. That is everything from every field and every aspect. Everything is going to be way too latest. And when it's going to be more modern and latest, we are going to thrive in the society, in the industry with a competitive edge as well. Example, Salesforce, this is an organization, a company like a Sephora, could benefit from the sales force, which, okay, which provides a comprehensive suite of tools for managing consumer interaction, marketing automation, and data analytics. This system can help Sephora personalize consumer experiences, track consumer behavior, and improve engagement through targeted marketing campaigns. That is what this organization is doing it by emphasizing and using the latest tools theorem in their organization. And how it is helping it? By making the experience variable, by having a track on the preferences as well and the behavior of the consumers too. HubSpot. Another example is the HubSpot, which offers integrated marketing sales. Uh, integrated marketing, that is where we're gonna combine all the market factors together, sales, the revenue, and service software. This could help a smaller retailer streamline its operations, automate repetitive tasks, and gain insights into consumer journey. That is how this organization is using CRM and they are helping in work in making the operation smooth. Secondly, whatever the tasks which are repetitive, we are doing it again and again, we can make it smooth. Secondly, and thirdly, we have making the journey of the consumers more memorable too. That is having an insight into their look into the journey. Then we have consumer service policies. Development and implementation of the enhanced consumer service policies. Updating and finding the consumer service policies can help ensure that the consumers receive consistent, high quality service across all touch points. Policy should cover the various aspects such as response times, resolution processes, and escalation procedures. Now these are a few aspects which are used while we are giving the uh, service to the consumer that is making them satisfy more or each and every need. Response times, that is being way too active in replying them. Resolution processes, that is whatever the promises we have made regarding quality or a price, we have to stick to it. Escalation procedures, if there is God forbid problem in the process of purchase or once they even have purchased a product, we can uh, resolve that too. For example, Amazon has set a high standard with its consumer-centric policies, including easy returns, 24 by 7 consumer service, and proactive communication regarding orders and deliveries. A company like Tesco could adopt similar policies to ensure a seamless customer experience. And that's true as well. There is an organization in the UK through which you can purchase the pre-loved, that is the one which are already used by the other people, uh, products by just simply going to the nearest uh, ATM machine, pay it, give your code, and they are going to deliver you the package. 
It is through the system. A machine is doing everything. Zappos, an online shoe and clothing retailer, is known for its exceptional consumer service policies, which include free shipping and a 365 day return policy. Implementing the similar policies could help build strong consumer loyalty and trust. Now, what is the purpose of giving you examples of the two organizations to make the points clear to you, uh, you people? And they are actually being used on the organizations by the people. Working towards recognized quality standards. The first one is, like it's just an example, the adoption of the international quality standards, for example, ISO 9001. Achieving recognized quality standards like ISO 9001 demonstrates a commitment to continuous improvement and consumer satisfaction. These standards provide a framework for implementing effective quality management. So they are working specifically on the QMS because that is what is depicting the specific standard which they are using. For example, Toyota. The adoption of this uh, ISO 9001 has helped the company maintain high standards of quality and reliability. That is, the quality is consistent with the reliability too. This approach can be adopted by other manufacturing companies to ensure consistent quality in their products and services like GM, General Motors. McDonald, this adherence to the quality standards ensures uniformity and quality control across its global operation. Like their hub, their home department is somewhere else. But the chains, which is operating all around the world, they are producing the products according to the taste of the consumer preference in which range they are operating. Implementing such standards can help service organizations maintain consistent service quality and consumer satisfaction as well. Then we have introduction of the mystery shoppers. Who they are? Mystery shoppers can provide valuable insights into the consumer experience by assessing service quality anonymously. That is, we don't know whether they are frequently buying the product of your organization or not. We cannot judge. They are going to come, they will be buying the product, and they're going to give you a review, and it's going to be honest as well. This helps identify areas for improvement that might not be evident through regular feedback channels, because we can buy the reviews as well. <clears throat> for example... Starbucks frequently uses mystery shoppers to ensure that its stores meet company standards for the consumer service cleanliness and the product quality. This feedback helps Starbucks continually improve its operation. That is the star uh, community and the card which they are using too. Tesco, they can introduce mystery shoppers to evaluate the performance of its staff and identify any gaps in service. The insights gained can be used to train employees and improve the consumer interaction. Why this organization should use the specific uh, mystery shoppers so that they can increase the level of customer satisfaction with the staff store level managers too. Lastly, introduction of a corporate social responsibility department, CSR, which is itself a whole course and a topic. Establishment of a CSR department. A dedicated CSR department can help align a company's business practices with societal expectations and enhance its reputation. That is, you are going to satisfy the Earth, the environment, the surroundings as well by helping it to be sustained for a longer period of time. CSR activities can include community engagement, environmental sustainability initiatives, and ethical business practices. Now, these are the three sub elements of the uh, CSR policies. For example, Patagonia. Now, this CSR efforts including environmental sustainability initiatives and ethical sourcing have significantly enhanced its brand image and consumer loyalty. Other companies can follow suit by integrating CSR into their business strategies. That is, they're gonna provide you the uh, services, the product, each and everything is going to be the benchmark up to the mark. But they should consider the environment as well. That is what actually the uh, implementation of the CSR policies are in the organization. Then Unilever. But the sustainable living plan aims to decouple its growth from environmental impact while increasing positive social impact. Establishing a CSR department can help other companies systematically address social and environmental issues, fostering a positive brand image and consumer trust. That is what they are doing. It just to make a positive uh, image in the head of the consumers, they have used the CSR policies in their product, in their mechanism, in the daily purposes. Implementing these improvements can significantly enhance the consumer relationship management processes. 
by adopting to the new software systems, refining consumer service policies, breaking towards recognized quality standards, in producing mystery shoppers and establishing the CSR department, business can better meet the consumer needs. That is when we're going to utilize all these points in an organization, what will happen? We're going to meet the needs of the consumers, first thing, improving the quality of the services which they are providing us, building a stronger customer relationship that is with the owner, with the shopkeepers, with the staff managers. These strategies supported by the real world examples demonstrate the potential benefits and practical applicants of each proposed improvement. That is all the examples which I gave you, they are all real organizations. That's it. We are done with LO4, uh, doing only two components, 4.1 and 2 respectively. And in the next class, we will be doing 4.3 and uh, basically uh, three elements. And then the 4.2, 4.3 and the merit part. That is going to be lecture number 12. Any big booty question? Uh, yes, ma'am. I just have a little question regarding this. Uh, I think, ma'am, uh, the third point, third uh, part. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. This one, we're working towards recognized quality standards. All right. Uh, quality Just a small No problem. Uh, there are a certain set of rules which we need to follow. They are called the quality standards and they are specifically ISIs, which we use in the organization. Every organization can select on their own ability that they are going to work it with it or not. That is, it is going to be suitable for it, for the specific organization or not. Like, like I give the example of Toyota. They are specifically using the 9001Y because it's in a manufacturing company and they are making the